Hey guys, what's up? Tonight we're gonna try something new. I'm gonna do a little bit of commentary on one of our previous episodes. Tonight's episode is Drop the Hammer with Melissa Jackson. So, here we go. All right, so we shot this episode back in February, I believe, and we had Melissa Jackson, Paul, of course, myself, and two in-studio guests that night, Anne Maroney from Paramount Entertainment, and our good buddy Stanley Ellis, who helps us out from time to time. That shot right there with Melissa, we had a camera on her headstock right there, one of our GoPros, and uh, I love the fact that that camera was put there because it was the perfect shot for when she's doing her pedal magic and uh, twisting those knobs. I, I couldn't even imagine a better shot for that. Of course, Paul and his funky bass lines. So if I remember correctly, Paul brought in this bass line that night to kind of start from somewhere. Uh, we were going for more of a funky thing, so we worked off that riff wrote a couple parts to it. I think it took us about maybe 45 minutes, maybe. I don't know. Something, something, it was about 45 minutes, I think. And um, we came up with this. Now, Paul also has a camera on his headstock. And we also put another camera on his, uh, on the bottom of his base so you could see like his fingers. Kind of gave it like, right there you could see, it looks like a spider or something, I don't know. I thought it looked pretty cool. And first chorus. So one of my favorite shots is every time we film is the rotating wide angle GoPro that you can see in the corner. It's next to Melissa in this video, right there. And it, I love it because it gives a perfect perspective of the room and what's going inside the room. There it is again. Uh, I don't remember what Anne and Stanley were drinking wine. Uh, Anne or Stanley, if you guys watch this, can you put in the comments what wine that was? I can't remember. And we hit the chorus really quickly right after that second verse, as you can see. That's one of my favorite shots right there. I love that wide shot. So while we were writing this song, we also decided to switch it up, go down into a bridge, right? Gotta have a bridge with every song, right? So that's what this is right here. We just broke it down to Paul and myself. I kind of felt like a marching thing going on there. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing it. I think it works. Right? And then Melita comes in for one of the greatest moments of Rock Bottom Bros history, right now. That shot right there with Melita as she kicks into her solo is one of my favorite shots of almost every episode that we put out so far. As you can see, the smoke is going crazy. That's not her amp on fire, holy Crap, that looks great. That is awesome. We planted that smoke machine in there that night, and it was Stanley's job to kick off that smoke right when Melissa's solo kicked in, and as you can see, he nailed it. That room is filled with smoke. And it was <laughs> pretty smoky in that room, if I remember. Uh, I couldn't see them. I, could have, I had a hard time seeing Paul and Melissa at that point. That room is not that big. Oh yeah, big finish, my big fill. Yeah, I got loud in that room last, that, since the night we filmed that, and uh, which is how it's supposed to be, right? You gotta go loud. Again, huge ending, an amazing jam. Had a great time with these people. Uh, Melita, I love you, you killed it, thank you. Again, thanks to Anne Maroney and Stanley Ellis for being our in-studio guest that night. Again, one of my favorite episodes that we've shot so far. Boom. There you have it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.